Hello and welcome to another episode of Tech Avocation. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a technique for advanced users on speeding up your computer. So the technology we're going to be looking at today is RAM disk. So some of you may have heard of solid state drives, hard drives, even CD drives, flash drives, floppy drives if you remember those. But most of you probably haven't heard of a technology called RAM disk. So RAM disk is a combination between memory and hard drives or storage. Memory is super fast and it comes in small quantities and holds all the information that the computer is working with right now. So for example, the browser that you're using to watch this video is stored in memory. So the processor has lots of information coming in and out of it. A hard drive, on the other hand, is used for long-term storage. So for example, when you turn on your computer, then it loads the operating system out of the hard drive and into memory so that the computer can then process that information. One advantage of the hard drive over memory is that when you turn, when the power goes out, so say either an actual power outage or when the computer turns off, then anything in memory is dumped and or cleared and anything on the hard drive still remains. So what RamDisk does is it essentially takes a small part of your memory because memory is coming in larger and larger quantities for a much more reasonable price point and allocating it as a drive, which is still really fast, but does not store anything when the computer turns off. So I'm gonna go over to the computer and we can look at how to set that up. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to run it for you so you can see it actually functioning and then I'm gonna go back and show you how to configure it. So let's say, I'm going to open up my script. There we go. So Final Cut is launching out of RAM disk and it is going to load super quick. There we go. So that's so now Final Cut is running out of RAM disk. Um, unfortunately for larger projects, I don't have enough memory to be able to actually work out of RAM disk which is why I purchased an SSD, but that's a whole other discussion. But for things like Safari or Pages or Keynote, this should work just fine. So I'm gonna close that now. And now let's open up Automator so that we can see what the script is actually doing. Okay, so here we go. So the first thing it does is it is there's a shell script. So it, so if you didn't have this code, you would run it out of terminal. So it creates a new volume called RAM disk, and the size is four gigabytes. This is in I believe it's kilobytes. Um, so if you want to change either the name of the disk or the size, you would change it there. Next is the what applications you want to run out of RAM disk. So I've added Final Cut to this, which is in Macintosh HD applications, Final Cut Pro. So you could add any software, even documents to this. So you could add pages, keynote, numbers, Safari, iTunes, whatever. And then it copies all of the items specified here into the um, drive, which is RAM disk. And then it, in my case, then it launches the application if you had multiple applications, then you'd have to add a launch application for each application, or you'd just say open this drive and then it would just show you all of the all of um, all of the contents of that drive. So that is basically it. It's a pretty simple script and you can download it off the website. So now back over to the other side. So some things to keep in mind. I wouldn't put anything that's super crucial like your documents or anything. And with the script that you can download off the website, then for Max, then it will automatically, then there will be instructions on how to configure it. And basically all it does is it takes the programs that you want to run out of RAM disk and 
copy creates the new RAM disk, copies them into the RAM disk drive, and then it launches, and then it gives you the option to launch those applications out of RAM disk, and they'll be running out of RAM disk, not out of the hard drive. So you still keep the original copy, so that when the power goes out, then nothing's lost, but the, but the one that you're actually working with is stored in RAM disk. Hope this helps, and thank you for watching. If you have any comments or experiences, feel free to leave them in the comment sections below, or you can head over to our website and join either the chat room or the forum for all the discussion there. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.